Welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials, and um, we are going to solve a question from circular motion. And this question uh, reads, while fishing, you get bored and start to swing a sinker weight around in a circle below you on a 0.25 meter piece of fish line. The weight makes a complete cycle every 0.25 five seconds and we are asked to calculate or maybe to find in what direction is the acceleration of the sinker and what forces cause the acceleration and also we are asked to calculate the angle that the fishing line makes with the vertical okay so i have drawn a simple illustration on the other side of the question here and then so we have this illustration here so we are asked to first determine in what direction is this acceleration of the sinker and the forces that are acting or causing uh, this acceleration so we have that angle that uh, the fishing line makes with the vertical. So we can also resolve this to be our tension. We say this is a tension. So we can resolve this tension into the X and Y components. So we are going to have the y component and also we are going to have the x component and we are going to have also the weight okay the weight so we, we have if this angle here is theta it means also this angle here is theta Okay, so we can be able to, to resolve that uh, T and then we are going to have the Y or the vertical component here is going to be T cos theta and then the horizontal is going to be T sine theta and then the weight going to be mass times the gravitational acceleration okay so those are the are the forces on me who is gotten bored okay so i'm here right here okay so now we see that we can use newton's second law of motion um, to come up with to know the forces that are acting there in the horizontal and as well as uh, in the vertical. So let's say in the in the horizontal. Okay, we see that in the horizontal we don't have motion. In the horizontal we don't have motion. So the summation of forces in the oh sorry in the vertical the summation of forces in the vertical is equal to zero because we don't have motion in the vertical meaning we don't have acceleration so we have that equal to zero and these forces we have tension cos theta minus the weight being equal to zero so tension cos theta equal to the weight okay so we can have that as our equation one and then we'll also look at the forces in the horizontal so the summation of forces in the horizontal this is where uh, motion is taking place so there is motion in the horizontal okay so motion is the horizontal meaning we have acceleration in the horizontal so 
And this acceleration, the horizontal, is towards the center, meaning it's the centripetal acceleration. So we have a T sine theta being equal to mf, which is the same as m squared over the radius. Okay, so we, we, we've, we've answered our A. So the, the, the acceleration is in the horizontal. Acceleration is in the horizontal and the, the, the forces that are acting on this, uh, that are causing this acceleration, it's actually the, the tension force in the, in the X axis. So tension times sine theta is what is causing the acceleration. So we have these two equations, which can lead us into finding uh, the second question. So we can be able to divide equation, equation two, divide by equation one. And then we're going to have T sine theta divide by T cos theta equal to mv squared divided by mg. Okay, so we have that, and then we have sine theta divided by cos theta being equal to mv squared. We do some simple Algebra, so we 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 have that answered, and then sine theta trigonometrically, sine theta divided by cos theta, we get tan theta. So we have tan theta being equal to v squared over radius times gravitational acceleration. So now. Uh, we also re relate the velocity in the circular motion because we've been given time period there. Uh, our time period is 0 0.5. So we can relate uh, a period, a uh, time period and uh, velocity. And it's related in this manner uh, where uh, velocity is given as the circumference of the circle in the time period. Okay, so velocity squared is going to, to be four pi squared r squared over t squared. Okay, so we can plug this into into that equation above. So what do we to have? So we are going to have tan theta being equal to four pi squared r squared over t squared divided by Sorry, or oh, divide by. All right, G. So that we have tan theta equal to four by squared r squared over r g t squared. So we have that gone and then we're going to have four pi squared r g t squared. Okay, so we can find theta stand in this of four pi uh, three point one four two as four pi squared, but you can write it like that because you have a symbol even on the 
calculator and uh, we multiply it with the radius which is 0 0.25 the radius is 0 0.25 divided by 9.81 our gravitation acceleration times time period 0 0.5 and this is squared. Okay. So tan theta, once we punch all that, we get uh, So if we once we punch that one, what we're going to get is uh, it being equal to seventy six degrees. So that's how we calculate the angle theta which the the fishing line makes with the vertical so theta is got 76 degrees so don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and also to hit the notification button or bell for you to be able to get notified once we upload new videos thank you for watching